All right, so before we move on to geometric series, let's do a few exercises on geometric sequences just to consolidate our knowledge. So we have a question here, find the fourth term in the geometric sequence where the first term is 6 and the seventh term is 3 on 32. So in our introductory video on geometric sequences, we learnt that the nth term of the geometric sequence, t sub n, is equal to a, where a is the first term, or what we call the scale factor, times r, which is the common ratio, to the power of n minus 1. So in this problem, we have a is equal to 6. We want to find t sub 4. So let's write this down. t sub 4 is equal to 6 by r to the power of 4 minus 1, which equals 6 by r to the power of 3. And we're given that t sub 7 equals 3 on 32. Okay, so let's do a bit of problem solving. So we know that t7 equals 6 by the common ratio to the power of 6. And that's equal to 3 on 32. So let's just take this part of the equation and work with that. So I'm going to rearrange and say that r to the power of 6 is equal to 3 on 32 times 1 sixth. So that's just dividing both sides of the equation by 6. Let's change colour again. And the product of the left hand side equals 3 on 192. Alright, so that means I've got r to the power of 6 equals 3 on 192. What do I do with that? Well, let's write r to the power of 6 as r to the power of, let's say, 3 all squared. So that's just going by the index law that a to the power of b, then to the power of c. We can just put the power of c into the parentheses and say that a is equal to b by c, a to the power of b times c. So we're saying that r to the power of 6 is equal to r cubed squared and that's equal to 3 on 192. Again, let's take the right-hand side equality and work with that. What I'll do now is to take the square root of both sides. So that means r cubed, if I take the square root of both sides, a square root will give me two possibilities, a positive answer and a negative answer. So we have plus or minus the square root of 3 on 192. Alright, so this is now where we're going to get lucky because 192 on the bottom can be written as 64 times 3. So we have plus or minus the square root of the 3 and the 3 cancels. So we have the square root of 1 on 64 which equals, for the numerator, the square root of 1 is, of course, equal to 1. And on the bottom, the square root of 64 is equal to 8. What I could do now is to take the cube root of positive or negative 1 on 8. But I'm not going to do that because what we have here in the term that we're looking for is the expression r cubed. So all I need to do is to substitute this value of r cubed into here. And that means t4 is equal to 6 by positive or negative 1 on 8. All right, so the fourth term can take on two different values. There are two possible values for the fourth term. So it's either positive or negative 6 on 8, which is positive or negative three quarters. So therefore, t4 can be equal to three quarters, positive three quarters, 
or T4 can be equal to negative 3 quarters. Alright, so this sequence contains numbers that alternate between positive and negative. For extra bonus marks, does this sequence display exponential growth or exponential decay? Well, we can deduce by inspection that the common ratio is less than 1, or the magnitude of it is less than 1. It actually is equal to positive or negative a half if we take the cube root. So that means the absolute value of r is less than 1. So it is actually a series that uh, is exponentially decaying. Sorry, I meant to say sequence. So it's a sequence that is exponentially decaying, which means the series, when we go to study series, is going to be convergent. All right, so that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, please give me a like. Share it on social media with your study mates and make this channel famous. Subscribe for future videos that may help you with your studies. If you have any questions, use the comment section below. Feel free to ask me any question there and I'll do my best to try and answer them. For now, best of luck with your studies and I'll see you on the next video.